Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Opening Night Trivia, the only geek trivia on this channel, this specific one. Um, my name is Alex, and I will be trying to lead you through this round one match in the Opening Night Trivia Geek Teams tournament. It's still really wordy. Uh, but with me is a very interested onlooker, as am I, uh, the current reigning champion of this division, one half of it anyway, Joe Fairley. Joe, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. It's a thunderstorm outside. It's awesome. This is not a prelude to announcing that Thor Love and Thunder is eligible because it's not yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, if I if I do this all of a sudden, it's just because the thunder is pretty cool. Um, I'm good. How are you, Alex? Uh, I am fantastic. We've got a uh, banger of a round one, hopefully. Round one has been really interesting, actually. Plenty yeah. of upsets, uh, plenty of favors also advancing. Upsets, uh, the... um, some great guesses, some great pulls, um, great... Um, shifts in leads it's, it's it's been a great round one so far and uh reaching the business end of it now with the number two seed only after this only the number one versus the number 16 to go yep scheduling has been an absolute nightmare but we are here with this match uh young justice taking on dirigible plums any thoughts on the match i'm looking forward to this both um both impressed quite well in their previous matches um obviously to be in the tournament that to do, do pretty well um I think this new team of, of Young Justice is very interesting. Um, Cam is someone who's been in this um, community for a very long time and um, has garnered the sort of the respect he deserves. And Harvey, I think, is one of the more exciting rookies coming through. Um, sort of, I think, getting the looks that maybe people like Brittany and Tyler got last year just with the way he, he's playing. And, and yeah, I'm looking forward to the dirigible plums. It's good Wizarding World reference. I've known, I don't, I've not really been on stream with Noah, but I've known Chad for a while and I know he knows, especially his some of his stuff in some other, some of these categories. Um, I'm looking forward to where this is going to go. Yeah, I'm going to just speak to, uh, to Noah for a second. He's actually gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with me on one occasion. He's a uh, fantastic geek player and hoping to broad, uh, cast a little bit more of that knowledge. Uh, Three-round match. Uh, let's hear what they have to say. My boy, Chad. Yeah. I hate that. You know, we, we came here to do a job. Mm -hmm. You know, I may have said this in a previous promo, but we're going to do that job. Yeah, I don't know what else I need to say. You know, I'm not trying to sell other people on me. Like I, I sell myself <laughs> on me. You know. Yeah, I mean, it's match, it's, it's, it's just another match, another geek match, another uh, chance to show just how nerdy we can be. So let's have and some fun. Let's. That is in uh, fact pretty nerdy. Pretty I, nerdy. <laughs> let's ideally kick some ass, but uh, I don't know. These guys, I think, are pretty good. So yeah, we'll see. Maybe maybe we're good too. <laughs> Easy money, GG. We got it. I'll be good cop, you can be bad cop. <laughs> now, Javi, I don't want to sound arrogant, but before this match even started, before we even filmed it, we proved that we know more than this team because we know that Saturday and Sunday are two different days, and they don't, which is why we're filming this on Labor Day when we should be having fun and spending time with families or something. I don't really know what the thing is for, but we got that on them. So that's one thing. Number two, Disney live action, Disney animation, Pixar, DreamWorks, YA. These are all things that I know very well. None of them are in this league. But that's something. You talk now. You're the better geek player. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, there's Megamind and Mixed Bag. That's DreamWorks. Oh, we, oh, we got a big both. six. We got Big Hero 6. We got both uh, The Incredibles. We're going to be fine. As long yeah. as those are the only mixed bag questions, we're going to be great. And as long as they only ask from the first hour and a half and not the last 40 minutes of The King's Man, because I didn't have time to finish it. I'm sorry. It's okay. We'll be fine. Yeah, I didn't watch Men in Black this. International either, so it's okay. Justice is served. Yep. I, 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 <laughs> People talking about justice, people talking about good cop, bad cop. There's only one good cop in here in this room right now, and it's me. So we'll just let's just see what happens. But both they, uh, both talking strong. Uh yep. They uh yep, yeah, lots of uh yeah. Um so introducing first, they are the uh they are the 15 seed coming into this tournament. They are Noah and Chadwick. They are the dirigible plums. Howdy. Transitions. And their opponents, uh, the number two seed coming into this tournament, they are Javi and Cameron Young Justice. 
I hope All you guys are right. enjoying your Thursdays. Boop. Uh, and then everybody else is uh, appropriately booped. All right, so we're going to get started here with round number one. In round number one, you'll be getting 10, count them, 10 questions from 10 uh, different categories in what we here at Open Night Trivia have determined to be geek. Uh, you will be given a question, have about 15 seconds of time it takes me to finish a joke or awkward silence uh, to write down your best attempt at an answer. Uh, you're going to be called on by name to reveal your answer and say it aloud, please. Um, my mother is hard of hearing. Uh, if you get... Uh, the question right, you'll get a point. That'd be cool. If you get all 10 questions right, you'll then be eligible for the bonus question, which would also be pretty cool. And I will do exactly one. Count them one dab. I've and that is Because it's a team's match, I will do it per. So, like, if multiple people, I will do one dab for each of you. I don't think it's ever happened before, but it should. It should happen more often. I've seen it. Um, didn't, Kaiser, didn't Kaiser in a dab? Kaiser has been dabbed, but like, I mean, if you like, for example, you and Javi got uh, like got a perfect round. I don't think I'm about to do yet, multiple ways. Not yet, but soon, maybe. Um, three repeats for the whole match for both teams, as well as one challenge for both teams, uh, to be used at your pleasure, leisure, whichever one. Um, are there any questions? No. And a reminder, just to all competitors, based because you, if you've seen our previous matches, please keep your hands on screen at all times. Uh, you will only be called out once. Officially, I am the ban hammer. Um, all right, so we will get started here with your first question, which I will give to you because of reasons that you'll find out in the second question, probably. Your first question will come from the category of the DCEU. The locations... Fawcett Central School, The Rock of Eternity, and The Booty Trap all appear in which DCEU movie? I, I, I'm a fan of locations questions. Yeah. Yeah, no. Real, real stern test. I, I think the whole life. genre of this, this, and this appears in this movie. It could be characters, locations, vehicles, devices. I think anything like that is just... You can get multiple questions from multiple movies multiple times. It's nice. It's an easy start for a ride. Three, two, one. Pens are down. We will start with Javi. Shazam! And we will go to Noah. Um, if you don't have an exclamation mark, it's wrong. Shazam. And we will go to Cameron. I got the exclamation mark. Shazam. <laughs> and Chadwick. I did as well. Shazam. Oh, thank God. All I, correct, Shazam. You ruined the joke of me saying you didn't have the exclamation mark. You don't get the point. So, but you were when Noah out. said it, I was like, let Chad not have it, and he has to agree. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> I was like, Chad, please, for the love of God. <laughs> yes, David would have insisted as well. I know that for a fact. Uh, we'll move on now to your second question. Second question comes in one of my favorite categories. It's the category of Star Wars. In The Last Jedi... Name two of the three characters who travel to Canto Bites to find the Master Codebreaker. You know, The Last Jedi, I think people don't have as much patience as they should. But I think that I do because I read that entire last question, which is a movie I don't really like, um, without rolling my eyes. And I think that deserves to be commended because I think we all know how much I hate Shazam. <laughs> It's awful garbage film. Oh my god. I would say this movie is this one is lower on my Star Wars list, but there are things I do like about it a lot. Oh my god, we haven't released another episode of that Star Wars show. Right. Five, four, <laughs> three. That character two. having no familiar click is fantastic. Pens, pens are down. Oh dear god, we should get on that. Uh Noah. <laughs> I put all three of them, Rose Finn and BB 8. All right, we will go to Cameron. Uh, Last Jedi is the best movie in the Skywalker saga, Rose and Finn. And uh, Chadwick? I also wrote, wrote Rose and Finn, and I also love The Last Jedi. And Javi? Rose Finn slash FN218. Oh, just, just. oh, that's fine. I'm a, that's I'm a fan of the show, but I got All correct. No misses so far. As we get into your next question which will come from the Wizarding World. In Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, Harry obtains the Half-Blood Prince's book during which class? My wife is currently watching 
the series of these movies. This is the latest one we have watched. She's a fan. Is it a first timer or is it like? Oh, a... it is. Oh, that's Ooh. lovely. I can't believe you're not doing like a like a show about it. She's not a fan of being on camera. Do that's you know fair. What? I mean, neither am I. I mean, do you know how long this takes to do? <laughs> Makeup tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens. <laughs> uh, we will start with Cameron. Uh, potions, but now it's taught by your drunk uncle. And we will go to Chad. Potions. Over to Javi. Potions. And over to Noah. Potions. Potions. All correct. Six to six after three questions. You gotta love it. As we move into your fourth question, which is going to come in the category of mixed bag. Who plays Percival in Atomic Blonde? I don't know about you, but during certain promos, I did, in fact, check what specific questions Uh, Uh, or movies that we chose for these. And then look, I was like, is Nick? And then I was like, like, two years and never watched it. Think we did, but we might (laughs) have. Did we do the thing again? Oh no. Nah, I've 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 banned us from using um Megamind. That movie's done. Probably. (laughs) I mean I don't know. (laughs) Five four Three. I have like three separate Two. folders that have questions. It's in mixed bag. It's in DreamWorks. It's in anime. Hands down. And we're not. That's. I mean, that's not true. Uh, we'll start with Chad. Oh, I said James McAvoy. Uh, we will go to Hobby. James McAvoy. And we will go to Noah. Uh, wrong person. I was thinking of Nicholas Holt. And Cameron. I figured it was him or Goodman. I put James McAvoy. <laughs> The correct answer is James McAvoy. So a one point lead, and only Noah not getting that point. Our first miss of the match, but four questions in, I think. Very strong showing so far. Yeah, absolutely. Um, your next question will come from the category of Marvel. Which Marvel movie features a character traveling back in time to perfect to prevent a protective shield uh, being created around the Earth? A this lot of time throughout these, <laughs> throughout yeah, these, throughout this division. Yeah, you can see some competitors trying to reach in. Some people knew it right away. Marvel is an enormous category. Did you get the right one? We're gonna like find out. Like this to hit specific plot points rather than stuff right. you can just look Four, up on IMDb. Three, two, one. Pens are down. We're going to start at the top with Hoppy. Men in Black 3. Noah. Men in Black 3. Cameron. I believe Javi watched it like two hours ago. Men in Black 3. (laughs) And Chad. No, I guess another time travel one. Days of Future Past. Men in Black 3 is correct. So Plum's no longer eligible for the perfect round, but both members of Young Justice are... Two point lead. Two point is we move into your next category, which is another one of my favorites. It's the category of Star Trek. Who resigns from their post aboard the Enterprise in Star Trek Into Darkness? I mentioned it backstage that hopefully, as long as work pans out this week, I should be going to see a 40th anniversary screening of uh, Wrath of Khan. Superior, which, of course, of the Khan. Was, which you know, Wrath, Wrath of Khan was famously remade. Um, I once watched Wrath of Khan <laughs> deep cuts and would have had absolutely no issues in putting it straight back on, so I'm very much looking forward to this one. All right, let's see if they have the right answer in five, four, three, two, one. Pens are down. We will start with Noah. I think it's Spock. And Cameron. The Kelvin timeline needed more bagpipes. Montgomery, Scotty, Scott. Uh, over to Chad. 
No, I said also said Spock. And over to Javi. Scotty. Scotty oh. is correct. Damn. All right. As we get into your next question, we'll come from the category of sci-fi killers. Matt Smith appears in which sci-fi killers movie? I want to say something. You don't want to. Someone might not know who this person is, so you don't want to say something about. It's true. Or, I didn't watch it yesterday. Shut up. <laughs> neither have no, I. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> neither, neither have I. Neither have I. It's so just we're just gonna. How's in what I've seen? This person is great. How's I, the? I, I how's the yeah. How's the weather? Still, very, it's very Thor-like. Oh. Fascinating. No jokes there. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Pens are down. I don't know where we're starting, so Holtzman. I know it's one of the ones I haven't seen. So it's a Terminator Genesis. And we will go to Chad. And that's also what I guessed. And we will go <laughs> to Hobby. We're doing great, Holtzman. Terminator Genesis. And Noah. Uh, Morbius is a movie, Terminator Genesis. Terminator Genesis is correct. <clears throat> Moving on to the next category, which is DC. How many DC movies feature the character Bane? <sighs> this is a character that has some highs and some lows. Do you think we should give him extra time for this, or just like no? Yeah. <laughs> two seconds, just an extra two. I think that's fair. I, I, I told you, I just turn up. You're in charge. <laughs> David's band. Um, we're gonna go in seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Pens are down. Uh, we will start with Chad. Um, I said two. Over to Javi. Three. Over to Noah. You hurt my heart, Chad. It's three. Dark Knight Rises, Batman and Robin, Lego Batman. Okay, Lego. And okay. Cameron. Three. Three is correct. I was so worried he was in Teen Titans and I didn't remember. Three, two. <laughs> and yes, Noah does have the three when he listed them off. All right. Um, so that will lead us to your uh, second to last question. I can't pronounce the other word correctly. Um, Middle Earth. In the Hobbit franchise, what color wizard is Radagast? Okay. Someone may notice something about two of the questions in this document. Okay. <laughs> what I have done. Okay. I don't... We don't. I mean, I guess we. We guess we're talking about it. I. Oh, I mean, you. There's. There's tells on who wrote some questions. I. I know what's going on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let's. I, I. I almost want to like pronounce it differently. Um, I mean, like Philosopher's Stone is also a good indicator of who's written the document. Yeah. Well, I also do that. I mean, I don't write. I'm lazy. <laughs> um. I, don't know, I can't be bothered. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens are down. Holtzman. Brown. Uh, over to Chad. No, I said green. <laughs> over to Hoppy. Brown. Caucasian. <laughs> <laughs> and Noah. Uh, brown. Brown is correct. <coughs> oh, I don't know. I'm just debating whether to put the bonus point on it now or not. Anyway, we're going to move on to your final question in round number one. If either or both of Young Justice hit this, they will be eligible for the bonus question as they will both hit a perfect round. Your final question comes in the category of the MCU. In Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, 
What material is the armor of Talos warriors made from? I recently watched it. Again, hence probably why it's in the document. But it's gone up a couple of steps in the ranking. Yeah, I think it's uh, pretty... On a third watch, it's still strong. Pretty solid, yeah, I agree. 100%. Would, um, would watch the sequel tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Actually, tomorrow's bad. I wouldn't. Tomorrow's not like a good day for me. Uh, honestly, I yeah, that's bad times. Uh, maybe some other time. Yeah, I'm. I mean, it's not. It's not soon. Probably. I'm seeing Beauty and the Beast the musical tomorrow. So. Oh, that sounds fun. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens are down for no obvious reason. We will start with Noah. Um, I have no fucking idea. I said titanium. Uh, we will go to Chad. I just guessed one. I said by Franny. Over to Javi. Cam, I don't think I got it. I'm going to say Dragon Scales. And over to Cameron. Dragon Scales! Dragon Scales is the correct oh, answer. That is two, count them, two perfect rounds, a double perfect round by Young Justice. Uh, let's just get out of the way now. This one is for you, Javi. And this one <laughs> is for you, Holtzman, two dabs for the double perfect round. Uh, Joe, why don't you hit him up with that bonus question? Absolutely. So, uh, for the first time, you'll need your whiteboards for the bonus question. Uh, your bonus question is, who has played an MCU head of security, a Star Wars criminal, and a Marvel lawyer? I like crossing... The franchise is over in the bonus. You can't do it anywhere else, really. Maybe quotes. Yeah, yeah. Hundred percent agree. Huge moment. I think that's that's uh, that's that's history made right there. Do we get Congrats. a second if we both hit the bonus? Um. Yeah, I mean, good, good, yeah. good shit. Uh, we'll see though. In five, four, three, two, one. Pens down for a bonus point. Javi, what do you got? Johnny Favs, John Favreau. And Holtzman. John Favreau. John Favreau is the correct answer. So at the end of round number one, the scores as I have it is 22 for Young Justice and 12 as I have, I have it for Dirigible Plums. Um, so we will get into round number two. Uh, in round number two, we have three categories. Uh, each team will take one, leaving the category should we need it, uh, the remaining category should we need it for round number three. Each team will answer five questions. They can collaborate. If they're not confident in their answer, they can check down a multiple choice that will reduce the point value of the question from two down to one. Uh, both teams, I believe, still have all three of their repeats as well as their challenge. Absolutely. Um, so, with that being said, today's categories are Marvel, Quotes, and The Wizarding World. Young Justice, you have control of the board. You are in the lead. Uh, you have the option of whether you want to pick your category first or second, as well as if you want to answer your questions first or second. What would you like to do? So we'll want to choose second? First. Oh, okay, we'll fine. Our category first, and we want to take Wizarding World, okay. and then we'll answer questions second. All right. Answering it's questions. Second. Just their, their team name is a deep cut Wizarding World reference. We probably shouldn't let them have that. <laughs> a reasonable conclusion. All right. That leaves Plums. You will be answering your questions first. What category would you like? No. Do we. I, th I think we go with what, what we were thinking about before. All right. Well, you go and say it then. Um, I can't remember. You take it. I can't remember what we were talking about. <laughs> uh, we're going to go with Marvel. That's right. Okay. All right. Marvel is off of the board. So oh. if we need it, quotes will be available in round number three. So um, Plums will be answering their question first from the category of Marvel. Joe, are you... Just in case, are you better at math than I am? I want to say the answer is yes. I hope the answer is yes. I mean, it's been a long time, but maybe? I don't know how good you are. That's a, that's an un, that's a 
dreadful. No, it's Alex, it's a hard question because he calls it maths, and so you phrased it wrong. It's a te- I'm awful at I'm <laughs> awful at math or indeed maths. So I think you should probably. I, I will read Plum's their questions in in Marvel because I think actually David, you do it. You 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 signal me if we get there. Oh, I'm keeping All right. tally. I'm... All right. So, Plums, five questions in the category of Marvel as you have chosen. Uh, are you ready? Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Your first question. Which Marvel movie features v- villains named Dark Overlords from the Nexus of Simonis? Excellent pronunciation. Do you have any idea on this one? Not, I'm thinking about checking to multiple. Uh, let's check. Okay, multiple choice, please. All right, multiple choice. Uh, is it A, Howard the Duck, B, Men in Black, C, Ghost Rider, or D, Men in Black International? Hmm. It's not Howard the Duck because that was a question I heard previously, and it's a different alien species. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe. I think it's international about you. That's what I was thinking too. Five, four. Let's go. Men in Black International. Two. Final answer. That is incorrect. So we're going to go to Young Justice for the one point steal. Once again, your options is it A. Howard the Duck, B. Men in Black, C. Ghost Rider, or D. Men in Black International. I'm almost positive it is Howard the Duck. Okay. Howard the Duck, final answer. That is correct for a one point steal. Your second question. That tell me. Your second question. Stan Lee cameos as a man with what profession in The Amazing Spider Man? Oh, I think I just saw this. Like something to do with. A water hose, but I don't know like what kind of profession. I don't think he's a firefighter, so. All right, multiple. Yeah, it's just because specificity. So multiple choice, please. All right, multiple choice. Is it A, a plumber, B, a store clerk, C, a librarian, or D, a crane operator? It's a librarian. He has a fight scene yeah. wizard. Okay. Librarian, final answer. That is correct for one point. Your third question. What is Danielle Moonstar's mutant ability in The New Mutants? Uh, this shitty movie. Oh, my God. Um, Do you know what character that is? Not really. Do you want to go for a repeat? I don't think it's going to help. I have probably multiple choice, to be honest, if you... I I, I can get with a repeat. Okay. Repeat. (laughs) Once again, that is your first repeat. Uh, Once again, what is Danielle Moonstar's mutant ability in The New Mutants? Moonstar. Um, That's either the main character or Anya Taylor-Joy's character. Anya or Maisie, yeah, I think. No, it's not Maisie. Um, Then it's Anya. I think it is making dreams... A rea- making nightmares more specifically a, a reality. That's very specific. So you go with that answer if that's what you think it is. I, I don't know. Five, four. We got to take it. Uh, final answer making nightmares a reality. We could accept that for two points. What did you have specifically? Uh, bring people's fears to life. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, your third question What? <laughs> Was Ben Grimm placing on the outside of the space station when it was hit by the solar storm in 2005's Fantastic Four? Right. What the fuck? (laughs) This is Marvel. (laughs) Um, I have no no idea. No. Cool. Multiple choice. (laughs) All right. Is it A, an ant colony, B, a radar, C, bacteria, or D, plants 
I'm in between radar and um, bacteria. That's what I was between as well. Um, and you know, whichever one we're going to choose, they're going to choose the other one. So maybe, I don't know. Um, what are you leaning towards? Answer. I think bacteria was the one that spoke out to me right. most. All right, let's go with that. You got it tends to be right. Bacteria, final answer. That is incorrect. So that? for one point steal, we go back to Young Justice. Your options, is it A, an ant colony, B, a radar, C, bacteria, or D, plants? Do you know this? I don't. I, I would say ant colony, but that... That's also me. what I was thinking, to be yeah. honest. It feels weirdly specific. Yeah. You want to just go with it? Yeah, ant colony, final answer. That is incorrect. We were looking for flowers. Oh. All right. Oh, so and uh, your fifth and final question. What is the code name of the character played by Channing Tatum in Kingsman, the Golden Circle? Oh. Um, tequila? Oh, that sounds correct. It's tequila. Um, Something. Maybe like champagne. That. Oh, if I you don't know specifically, different. maybe we sh should do multiple choice. I'm not sure. No, I'm pretty sure it's tequila. It's, I'm, really, I'm willing to take the risk. Me too. Tequila, final answer. And that is correct for a big two points. Uh, bring your total to 17. Uh, at the end of that, uh, Young Justice did get a one-point steal, so that brings them to 23 heading into their round. Yep, and as there are steals available, we'll, of course, still continue. <clears throat> uh, as we move in, the two Young Justices questions in the Wizarding World. Young Justice, you prepared for your questions in the Wizarding World? I hope so. <laughs> Your first question. Which Wizarding World movie features students being taught the three unforgivable curses? That's Goblet of Fire. Okay, let me just think about this for a second. Because it's oh, moody, because he does the spider. and Oh, Neville right, got it. Yep, you're right. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, final answer. That is correct for two points. Your second question. In Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore, Newt travels to the Erkstag, a wizard prison in what country? You want to just go multiple? I haven't seen it yet. I think we should go multiple choice. I have a guess based on the name of the thing, but I want to well, go yeah. multiple, multiple right, choice. Cool. Let's, let's go multiple choice. Not a problem. Your multiple choice options are, is it A, Austria, B, Germany, C, Switzerland, or D, the Netherlands? So stag makes me think Germany. Okay. Yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. Germany, final answer. That is correct for one point. Your third question. How many Wizarding World movies feature the Dementors? Right. So you have Prisoner of Azkaban. Right. They're in uh, Death Part 2 as well. Right. And the, which one's the one where Dudley gets oh. attacked by them? Uh, Order of the Phoenix. So that's three. Right. Do we want to shoot for three? Because we can go multiple choice, and if we're wrong, then they can't steal for as much, and we still have the yeah, yeah, like yeah. Multiple choice. Cool. No problem. Your multiple choice options are, is it A1, B2, C3, or D4? Yeah, three, final answer. That is incorrect. Dirigible Plum's chance for the one-point steal. Your options, once again, are A1, B2, C3, or D4. It's four. Okay. Is it like both Deathly Hallows? Yeah. Yeah. Four. Final answer. That is correct for the one point steal. Uh, your fourth question in Wizarding World. In Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Ron reveals that Scabbers used to belong to which of his brothers before being handed down to him? Percy. Yeah. Percy, final answer. That is correct for two points. Can I ask what's the score? Yeah, All right, so the score as it stands right now, in heading into the final question, I believe it's the final question. Yes. Uh, the score right now is 28 to 18. So if okay. you hit for any point value, uh, you will have one by knockout. If Plum steals or if neither team gets the point, I believe we do go on to round number three. Cool. 
Thank you. And Young Justice, your final question in the Wizarding World. Who conjures the spell Lumos Solem to defeat the Devil's Snare in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone? That's Hermione. Yeah. Hermione Granger, final answer. And your winner, by way of knockout, Young Justice. The correct answer was Hermione. They do get the knockout, uh, one of several in round number one. Well done to Young Justice, making history here today. That round number one was incredible and doing what they had to do. In round number two, we are going to get uh, Young Justice out for just a second as we talk to Dridgeable Plums, who put up a valiant effort. Uh, round one got a bit uh, uh, out of control for them. Young Justice, excellent uh, round one players. And then I think just a few gaps in that match. Uh, Valiant effort, good game. Uh, you tried to stay in as long as you could, getting those steals. Uh, just tell me how you're feeling right now. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just it's just kind of the thing. Like the game that they played, it's hard to go against that. You know, I dropped the ball a few times in round one, um, and then you know they smartly took the category we wanted, and um, we got one that. You know, we know some stuff in, but obviously we're not like masters in that one uh, specific category. Uh, you know, need to study a little bit more on that one. Um, you know, and uh, we made some you know decisions that didn't really go our way. And um, you know, I don't know if we would have chosen quotes it would if it would have been any different. Um, you know, but yeah, and they also like nailed like a lot of the Wizarding World stuff. So it's not like they took the category from us and then we got steals from it. That would have been really cool, but it didn't happen because they're really well-rounded. So, uh, you know, we faced a good team and, and we uh, we didn't come out on top. And uh, it sucks, but, you know, um, if if Noah still, still wants to uh, to go on um, in other matches, I'm, I'm down. So, uh, you know, uh, I, I hope to uh, be back. Yeah, and you did, you guys did get the steal when it was presented to you, the Dementors question. You got that steal when it was presented to you. Um, they only, in round two, they only outscored you by two points. You know, there was, there were the opportunity, when the opportunity was there, you took it. I think the discussions you were having showed that you sort of, you are gelling together as a team. Um, I think it just came to a point where these are two players that, one is a, player that's been around for a very very long time and one is a this up and coming and it's just they're gelling just maybe just out there just slightly but still you made it into the team into this tournament as a number 15 seed you put up a good fight you scored a lot of points um it just wasn't enough for you on this occasion yeah yep um so unfortunately that does end your uh competitive year um unfortunately uh hopefully perhaps we'll see you back next year uh, you're always welcome back if that is your wish. Uh, so we'll be seeing you. And we are back with today's winner, making history, getting the knockout, uh, Young Justice, Javi, and Holtzman. Guys, that was scary. Um, <laughs> that was really scary. That was eerie. Uh, but a, well, a job well done, I would say. Getting the double perfect round, that is incredible. And then doing what you had to do in round number two to get the finish. Uh, how's your feelings? That this feels great. That felt amazing. Um, yeah, just the double perfect. Like knowing that we were the first people to do that, I think it's insane considering the teams that I know play here. Um, <laughs> but it feels really good to do that to get two individual dabs. It's never been done before. History is made. Um, and then, yeah, like we knew going into round two, we wanted, we wanted, uh, we wanted Wizarding World, not just so that they couldn't have it, but also because I think that's what we felt better in. And especially after hearing those Marvel questions, definitely we made the right choice. Um, yeah, like quotes in round three, we weren't super excited on, but we were like, you know, have a lead and don't need to answer quotes questions is the dream. That happened. I think that's every team facing quotes in round three's goal is make it so we don't have to try and answer these. Uh, but yeah, no, I feel really, really good. Like we were in sync this whole time. Just, yeah, like 
I could not ask for anything more than what we just did. Dope, sweet. Um, well, Javi, you don't appear to be talking, so I'll I'll serve you this one up. Uh, I can tell you who your next opponents are. Yay! In round number two of this tournament, you will be playing the number ten seed, Galacti's Nuts. Um, that is uh, Abel and Antonio. I hate that team name. I still hate it. Um, any thoughts on them, boys? We can take them. Yeah. That's all we got. Okay, say. great. <laughs> okay, great. Um, congrats on the everything. Uh, be seeing you in round number two, and goodbye. Who, Joe? <laughs> I gotta say. Uh, yeah, that's we're one match away from rounding out this first round of the tournament. With second rounds gonna come at you thick and fast. Um, the questions are gonna get harder. The opponents are gonna get tougher. We're into the quarterfinals. Almost taken fast. Oh boy. Um, all right, yeah, I agree. Um, as 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 the champion of this uh current division, does it excite you or just uh scare you a little bit that you know that you've got teams like uh the ones that you've come out of round number one? Yeah, um, this makes I believe four knockouts in round number one uh alone. Is that does that scare you or does that get you kind of motivated? Oh, it's, it's absolutely a motivator. Um, but do you know what? We're this match, Eli and I aren't involved to the end of the tournament. I'm just interested in what's going on here, and I want to talk about the teams that are actually playing. Reasonable. Um, well, Young Justice off to a great start in the tournament. Uh, they have a reasonably tough, very tough. Fairly tough match in round number two, but we'll see if they get past it. More to come. Uh, this was the second to last. Uh, please check out the last of the round one matches coming in soon, probably, on the scheduling. Um, and uh, all the other matches, except for the regular teams division, because that division sucks. Um, so for everybody here at Ontal Geek, for Dirigible Plumps, for today's winner, Young Justice, uh, that was Joe. I was Alex. Always remember those were words in a Star Trek movie. Or remember.